Images of the Asiana jetliner crash at San Francisco International are hard to forget. One of the victims was run over by an airport fire truck. Now we know that truck didn't have a thermal imaging camera. Having that infrared technology on board may have prevented the accident, so we wanted to know if the fire trucks out at PDX have those special cameras. Tim Becker looked into it. He joins us live from PDX with the answer. Tim? Well, a distinction needs to be made right off at of the top here, Kelly. The primary firefighting trucks at SFO, those do have thermal imaging cameras and equipment. The truck that ran over a passenger, that was a reserve fire truck, and it does not have a FLIR camera. We've learned that's pretty much the same situation we have here at PDX. The three primary response foam trucks, similar to those that helped with the Asiana Airlines crash, are indeed equipped with thermal imaging cameras here in Portland. They also have two reserve trucks, uh, and they can use those if one of the primary trucks isn't working. But see, those two, like SFO, do not have cameras. That said, the PDX fire and rescue crews here do have a number of additional handheld units. Those are available to them as well. We've learned aircraft rescue firefighting trucks are using the technology more and more today. The Wilsonville-based FLIR company has a number of different cameras that are used by airport firefighters. You take this and you put it into something like this and put it put a different boxer on it and put it on that Panther mm -hmm. fire truck at SFO that comes, you know, they've got to go from one end of the runway 12,000 feet to the other end in 90 seconds. So they're basically a, a rocket ship on wheels with 45,000 gallons of foam and water. So they come zipping up on the scene. And so it's real easy how to see in the heat of the moment where, gosh, I mind it, they didn't ever see the gal. Airport uh, trucks use FLIR cameras for other things as well, hot brake checks, for example, and to monitor jet engines and spot any anomalies in emergency situations. By the way, some of the cameras here at PDX are made by FLIR, but they tell me they do have another brand name in the mix as well. Reporting live at PDX, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.